Hey, what's up? What's going on, you two? It's your boy Big Bird. Just checking back in with you. Just got off of work. Um, man, actually, everything is pretty, pretty interesting this week. Uh, weekend. Um, more emails. Dropped a bombshell with the FBI. Um, with Hillary. Um, the, the Rays really got a tight end. Pretty much. I mean, still show her on the lead. Maybe like one or two point difference. Uh, but the 10 points, 15 points, whatever cushion that she had, that's gone. But, uh, man, I definitely want to get into um, that they found some new DNA um, that's not Neanderthal or, man, sorry, I'm trying to, I'm on, I've been, I've been like killing the pronunciation of this, of this other uh, name of this other um, extinct human species. I'm probably have to just go on this. Just shortly shorten it. It's uh Din is Zova. So like Din 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 It's a Din S Zova. Um, that's like uh, another species of um ancient humans uh, that were found in Siberia about 2008. Um, that that they you know that they have most Asians and Europeans have will have a uh, significant uh, DNA of Neanderthal Asians and of these people in South Pacific have a uh, Asians got like maybe like two or three percent of the, of that the Dizzy uh, Dizzy Ova's um, DNA but maybe one or two percent in, in the South Pacific but they actually went to these uh, the Melanesians and they're like they're like black people um, in the south, south Pacific, uh, northeast corner of the Pacific Ocean, and um, probably like one of the probably I can say the the islands that consists is like the Solomon Islands, uh, Fuji, um, New Guinea, um, Aborigines of, of Australia, uh, Papaya, and um, a couple other islands in the South Pacific. But they found a new DNA trace. That's not from those two ancient species, but actually our third one that they have no clue where what that is. But but then, but when you know when you think about it, there were three migrations out of Africa. One of the migrations came from the southern uh, part of Africa, and um, that's and that's one of the oldest DNA's origins in the world. So, I mean, like I said, I mean I'm not going to try to say, it, but you know. They're obviously with black, they're black people. They they still maintain their melanin. You know what I'm saying? And they came from the southern part. You know what I'm saying? I, I made a video. You know, they discovered they discovered um, a settlement, but a very advanced settlement in south in south around the southern Africa region, mainly in the northern area of South Africa near uh, I think near the uh, Pretoria, Pretoria. And the settlement was actually a metropolis, but they said that this goes back like over almost 200,000 years. The the migrations out of Africa was was around 160,000 years, 130, some was 130,000, some was 160,000, some was 150,000, um, 115,000. So, I mean, when you think about and I'm putting two and two together. Maybe, maybe that that civilization that that made that made that that settlement ruin in South Africa was probably one of the main people that left. Um, because like I said, I mean they, they there's similar design and architects text or structures around the world that's actually based off that single um, ancient metropolis in South Africa. But um, yeah, man, it was a, um, it was a big, big thing. I'm gonna I'll definitely shoot the link in the in the bottom, so you guys can read up on it a little bit more. Uh, very, very fascinating, man. Always, always new things go coming out of Africa, man. And um, let you know, man, just just how advanced humans really were, and how how everybody keeps talking about this Columbus, man. Man, black people, Africans went circumnavigate the entire world, be, like tens of thousands of years before Europe. Europe even got their act together, and that was that was kind of you know the Moors kind of helped them out 
So, I mean, make you think, you know what I'm saying? Like, hey, maybe, maybe we, maybe, you know, maybe we really not that smart or not that intelligent. But right now, yeah, they're, they're, trying, they're, they're, um, they're still trying to talk about it. Um, a professor out of, out of, uh, I think out of Texas, um, Bo, Bohema. Uh, yeah, he's, he's definitely was, uh, one of the main researchers. He's, he, uh, found that the, the third link of the D, uh, DNA was not from those other two. So right now it got the, got the scientists and arts are all uh, archaeologists kind of like shaking their head and scratching their head, wondering what that could be or who, what, what can it be? Cause they really don't have a clue. Like I said, they found the second species of ancient human in 2008 and they're bare and they barely, uh, scratching the surface with that, but just to come to a third one, that that's, that's really got them like got their hands up. But yeah, man, definitely a good uh, discovery, man. Let you know, man. Black people is definitely showing more proof that black people is the first man. We are the original man. Um, so that that goes that goes and saying. Um, there was actually two shoot. It actually was a uh, this week, man. It was two mass shootings. One was in San Antonio on Halloween. Um, it was a Halloween party. Some dude came, Freddy Krueger, um, and he, he crashed. He crashed like a party, and he started shooting people. Um, I mean, really, they, they really ain't released his race or nothing like that. Um, they don't know if he could be Hispanic or he could be Caucasian. Um, I definitely wasn't no black man. I mean, look, I mean, we don't we don't get down with all that, especially in Halloween. We don't even. I mean, most black people just come with regular clothes. But uh, you know, it was just crazy. You can't even you can't even have a good fun party with stuff doing like that. So um, everybody kind of like assuming it's probably Hispanic. Um, I really, I really don't want. I don't. Really, I'm not going to put that in the category. The Spanish is in there because uh, most Hispanic. I mean, even some some of them got a certain mentality. They don't have that type of mentality. They're, you know, they they're pretty much cool. You know what I'm saying? They're definitely when they're having fun. They're not trying to just start chaos and stuff like that. So, so I I'll definitely put that in the air and on that on that view. But there was another shooting with in Iowa, two cops were killed with ambush style. Um, it was a, actually Facebook had a blackout, and a couple other, uh, well actually a couple lo local news they covered it, but nobody in the in the mainstream media was really covering it, um, especially in the media and social media it's like Facebook, and um, it was a blackout. So. And I think one of the first stories I broke, they tried to say it was a black man. And I'm thinking to myself, ain't no way in, in goddamn hell is a black man. You know what I'm saying? Because, um, one, that black man would have been caught. And he would have been, he would have been, he would have been killed. You know what I'm saying? They would have took him in. They would have killed him. Um, a couple of people argued me down. I said, no, that's a white man. And, um, the thing about it was, you know, no blue lives matter. You know, normally they'd be up in up in arm when when the police kill a arm armed black man, they 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 coming out in full drunk force and and want to march and protest. But where, where's blue lives matter? I don't, I don't see them. I don't. I I ain't, I ain't hear nothing about it. There ain't nothing about that. So they can miss me with that. But like I said, I mean, was, I mean, it was a tragedy. Two lives were killed. But yeah, it was a, a white supremacist, man. He was, um, they actually, they caught him. They captured him. They arrested him. You know, typically, you know, they, they're not going to kill another white man. Um, if, if they're, if they're forced their hand, but, uh, I don't know, obviously I think he maybe, I don't know, he, he probably, I don't know, I don't know what happened, but they ended up capturing him. Um, a couple of people were saying, oh, he was a, he, um, was at a football game, you know, had a Confederate flag and, you know, blurring out racial uh, lines and sentiment and um, all the other type of uh, slanders. But uh, just just from that right there, we, you know, he, he got his 
Confederate flag, uh, flags and and he's calling you know niggers and everything else to some you know black people around that way. Yeah, he's a white supremacist, full fledged, and he's a Trump supporter. So let's you marinate on that one. And uh, so right now, I've been it's been a very uh, interesting weekend. Actually, interesting week, um, but weekend as well. Uh, right now, everybody was excited about the tomb of Christ. And uh, they were talking about 460 years, they're still intact. And I said, well, if that was a tomb and Christ is damn near 2,000 years old, why is only, I mean, this must be a very, very new uh, tomb. Because why, why the tomb is only 460 years old and Christ is, or, and Christianity is over 2,000 years old. So that that, that kind of like has, that kind of had me like, oh, okay, all right, some, some bullshit. Obviously, I don't know people caught caught that, but, you know, hey, it's, it's, you take it with a grain of salt, I see. But, yeah, everybody was talking about that. They were talking about, oh, it didn't shift. It's, you know, it's a lime. It's granite. It don't shift. Well, dude, it's, it's, it's fucking granite. Look at look at the Great Pyramid of Egypt. That, shit, it been around for damn near 10, 20,000 years ago. Still, still, still intact. It's not, you know what I'm saying? It's not going to fucking just just cave in. It's not going to just erupt. It's not going to just erode. It takes, it takes some fucking time to erode. Like over 100,000 to maybe million years type erodes. But, uh, yeah, man, besides that, man, just, uh, I just want to come in and just, and just, uh, and just grace, and just grace the line, um, um, grace the line about it, and um, just 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 really speak on that uh, the Melanesian D, uh, DNA um, discovery. I just uh, that was I think that's a big thing. Everybody in the world don't really know. Uh, everybody just know about Neanderthals, and a certain people know about the second uh, species of human. So just having that third one is a, is a blessing. So. Um, definitely, I'm gonna shoot you guys a comment below so y'all can look at it uh, as well. Um, so, but right now I gotta go on and leave up out, get ready for go to work again, and I'll hit you guys with another one. Um, so, man, stay blessed and hit me on the likes and hit me on the comments. All right, one.